guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I woke up in a great mood this morning and I was like, today is the day to film another episode of What Would Drew Do? Now, if you are new to my channel or you have never watched this series in the past, I've actually only done two episodes prior. And this is basically where I take your guys' decor dilemmas and try to fix them on my side and give you guys some pointers and tips for how to elevate your space with maybe some new paint, some new furniture ideas, some DIY options, just things that can make your space just a little bit more enhanced based off my own personal opinions. Now, before jumping in, I always do a disclaimer in these videos because I never ever want you guys to think that I am telling you you need to do this to have a nice space or you need to buy this or you need to spend this much money or X amount here. Like these are just my own personal opinions and things that maybe the person who is watching who has these space or if you guys out there have a similar space to this could take a couple of notes and maybe incorporate these over years to come or however you would like to do so. I just like doing these to share with you guys how to take real life spaces and transform them into something you might have never think you could have. I do want to mention that today's video is kindly sponsored by Helix, which I'm very, very excited about. I'll touch on them in just a little bit, but let's go ahead and jump on into fixing your guys' decor dilemmas. We have some really great spaces that were sent in. There were so many, by the way. You guys always send me so many spaces and I wish I could answer all of them and I actually do try to respond to any emails that are just quick for me to respond to. However, I selected a couple of them today and the first one is going to be an office space and this was actually sent in by Lone Fox family member, Lena. So let's go ahead and watch her video. Hey Drew, my name is Lena. I'm 25 years old and I live in a small town in Southern Germany and I could really use your help in um, our office room. The room itself is kind of weirdly shaped. We have three doors and a large window. So I'm gonna show you the room now. You enter through this door and then you come into um, our office. And on the left side, there's a large window over the whole wall. We have three doors here. This one goes to the living room, one to the storage room and one to the bedroom. If you have any idea on how to make this space look more organized and more beautiful and more cozy. I kind of want to feel cozy <laughs> in this room. I would be very, very grateful. Now, as you guys can see, Lena has a smallish office space, but the thing that I think brings this space to life is that window and that view. It's honestly stunning. I don't even, I probably could never ever not be in that space. I absolutely love the view she has from that window. I think it is beautiful. And I really want to highlight that and kind of make the space feel a little bit more open and also maximize the storage space in here. Since the space is on the smaller side, something that I always do when I have a smaller space is try to maximize wall storage because we don't have a lot of foot area or like square footage to walk around in. We wanna maximize our square footage vertically, if that makes sense. So the first thing I would do is move the desk over to the right wall. Just have it up against the wall. You can have two computers. It does look like this desk is pretty long. So I definitely think that it can suffice for doing so. And something else I thought would be really fun because this uh, area over here is kind of gonna be the new focal point where the desk is, is to apply a peel and stick wallpaper on this entire wall. I think that will anchor this area, kind of ground that desk space and also just add a little bit of interest to the space as well. And something else you guys have seen me do countless times throughout my own apartment is paint the window trim black and currently it's a pinky tone which I do not hate at all I actually think it's pretty cute however I do think if you want to add like a bold touch and then also kind of relate back to the wallpaper design and graphic that we did uh, you can go ahead and paint the window trim black I think that would really make an impact it'll add a nice contrasting trim around that window and then also hang a simple curtain to that space as well and all around I think curtains over any window looks really nice even if you leave them open 24 7 you still still have that nice little touch of fabric on either side and it also can heighten the room a little bit if you raise that rod quite high you could actually heighten the wall uh, just visually with the curtain and now that we have this entire free wall opposite of our desk we could then go ahead and create a whole entire storage wall so whether this be with bookcases with floating shelving with any form of shelving you want to add here I personally suggested maybe this simple IKEA system because it is affordable you could paint it to a color scheme you like or you can leave it that raw wood which I think also looks amazing and you can totally add so many storage elements to this such as baskets or boxes you can put books on here electrical equipment whatever you want to add um, this is an area for you to really maximize your storage and just get the most out of your square footage and then right when you walk in the little cabinet on the right side I think that whole entire section there should totally stay as is um, I think it's really cute and fun and then the light fixture the light fixture is also really nice I like that as well so that's really all I would probably do to Lena's space um, of course add maybe a couple more decor elements just to add some personality and life to the space but all around I think it's a great starting point in that window and view honestly a hundred percent 
And before jumping into our next room, which is a bedroom, I thought it would be a perfect time to touch on today's sponsor, Helix. Now, if you guys remember back in my bedroom makeover, Helix actually reached out and asked if they could send a mattress to me. So I went online, I took the super simple sleep quiz, which I think is a no brainer. This is a great quiz that basically asks you how you sleep at night, what your sleeping position is like, and it compiles it all together and takes your information and recommends a mattress that would well suit you. So I actually got paired with the Midnight Lux mattress and I've had this mattress for about three months now. And you guys, it is the most comfortable mattress I've ever owned in my entire life. Now, if you guys have never heard of Helix before, they are actually a premium mattress in a box company, meaning that they ship your mattress in a box directly to your doorstep. It is so simple and so easy to set up. You could totally do it by yourself. I actually did mine by myself. And if it makes you nervous to buy something like a mattress online, Helix is really incredible because they actually give you guys a 100 day sleep trial, meaning that if you, after three months, let's just say you do not like your mattress, before the 100 day mark, you can actually have them come and pick it up and you will get a full re fund, which I think is great because buying a mattress online can be a little bit intimidating, but Helix has you covered. The sleep quiz makes it simple and easy and all around. I just absolutely love Helix as a brand. Now, if you are looking to get a brand new bed, definitely use my link in the description box below. It is helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott because you can get up to $200 off of any of the mattresses and it ships directly to your doorstep. It is truly a no brainer. So if you're going through a room remodel or you just need a new mattress in general, definitely check out Helix. But let's go ahead and jump on into room number two, which happens to to be a bedroom. Alrighty guys, so room number two, this is one of my favorite ones in today's video. I love this space so much just because I feel like there's going to be a very impactful kind of before and after. This was actually sent in by Lone Fox family member James and he is so sweet. Let me share with you guys his video. Hey Drew, my name is James. I'm from Ontario, Canada, and I would love your advice on my space. Uh, like many of us during this pandemic, I actually moved back home with the family and I am now living in my younger sister's room. I would love your help kind of um, updating it to be more my style, more masculine and more modern. This is kind of my bed situation uh, at the moment. I have just this thin blanket on here and a few sleeping pillows, nothing decorative. I would love your help choosing a nice duvet and a few throw pillows. This is uh, my TV unit area and it's kind of just an Ikea shelf that is sideways that I put my TV on. Um, one thing that I don't like is the open shelving unit. There's kind of a lot of clutter. So when you're laying in bed watching TV, you just see all this clutter. So that's my space. I would love your input um, on how to kind of update it. I would love to rearrange, paint, DIY, or upcycle anything. I've been a fan of yours for a long time and I trust you. So as you guys can see, he is currently living in his sister's room due to COVID, which I know a lot of people moved back home or transferred spaces, whatever it might be. And you kind of have to make do with what you have. So the first thing I would do in here is of course, paint it. This turquoise blue Blue, I wouldn't say is the most aesthetically pleasing color. So I would go ahead and paint it something a little bit lighter and more neutral. I actually opted for the color White Dove for you, which is almost like a warmer kind of gray toned white. So it's a little bit different than your traditional stark white. And of course, I think we need a new curtain as well just to match our vibe. And I thought a fun kind of bold curtain would be nice for the space since we're doing a more neutral tone on the wall and some more neutral elements throughout the space. I think having a nice olive green curtain, if you want to add that kind of mask masculine touch you were talking about. Now let's go ahead and talk about the bed because the bed is the focal of any bedroom. So currently there is no headboard, but I do know that you could buy headboards that are super affordable that you can just literally pop right behind your bed, which give you the look of a full bed frame for a fraction of the price. So I opted for a simple wooden headboard. I found this one, I believe on like Wayfair or something, and it was under $150. So I think if you wanted to invest in a simple headboard or even DIY your very own simple headboard, I think that would just add a nice kind of grounding space for that bed. Just going in with something honestly very similar to my own bedding. I really love this bedding so much. It has a nice simple horizontal stripe on it. It's a creamy tone. Now this one is from CB2, but I found one very, very similar from Target. So I'm going to link all those bedding options below for you. Do not forget about the throw pillows and throw blanket as well, because coordination um, and kind of tying everything throughout the space is a great way to go. So adding maybe an olive throw pillow to coordinate back to the curtains and then also kind of throwing in those neutral tones, those warm tones 
tones, black for contrast, white for brightness. Um, just kind of keep those in mind when you're adding um, additional throw pillows or blankets. Now, as far as the wall art goes, currently we have two kind of like random artwork pieces, and I'm sure you might want to change those up a little bit if they were your sisters. So I think honestly keeping the frame from that banana print and just putting it right above the headboard in the center, popping in a new artwork piece. I found one for you from Society6. And by the way, guys, any of the recommendations for these spaces, I'm going to link all the furniture pieces and absolutely everything I'm talking about below for you guys. I think something else that would add some symmetry to this space and overall just make it look more visually designed is to add two matching nightstands. So one to each side of the bed. Now, if you don't want to go with two of them, you can totally just opt for one nightstand, but I think it would look a little bit more elevated with the new nightstand over there. So I have a second view for the space as well, which is going to be the TV section kind of media area in front of the bed. So as you can see, it currently looks a little bit cluttered. It's not too bad at all. However, there is uh, quite a bit of stuff in that little bookshelf area. So I do think just adding something super simple, like some pullout baskets and storing all of that, um, all those contents that are inside of the bookcase currently instead of some pull out baskets would be great. And I actually have some from Ikea that I love and there really isn't much else I could do to this little space right here. However, just for an additional idea, maybe adding a skinny kind of floor length mirror to the left side of the TV that you're able to use when you're getting ready, uh, whatever it might be. And then maybe popping a little basket in front of it as well would be cute just to have some throw blankets or any additional storage that you might need as well. So those are my tips for your room, James. I feel like you could totally pull off anything I could just get from your your energy that you are ready to go. So I hope this helped you out a little bit and let's go ahead and move on into room number three. Alrighty guys, moving into room number three. This was sent in by Lone Fox family member Shannon and let me go ahead and share with you guys her video. Hi Drew, my name is Shannon. I'm from Arlington, Texas. Um, first off, I want to say I love your design aesthetic and I completely fall in love with everything you do on your channel. Um, with that being said, I could really use some help designing my living room space. Um, my boyfriend and I recently signed a lease to move into an apartment together at the end of February and we already have our main piece for the living room. It's a beautiful velvet green couch, but I have no idea how to design around it. Um, everything that I find online is super eclectic and lots of bright colors, but I kind of want to lean more moody and uh, modern. So uh, if you could, I could really appreciate your help. Thanks. So when I started to go through the content that she actually sent me in the email, there were some photos and all around this space is just such a good base for a living room. I love it. I love the floors. I absolutely love the fireplace. I love the amount of windows. There is just so much to work with here. I think you can go all out and do some dark walls in here. So the color I opted for was Inkwell by Sherman Williams, which will give you a super, super dark moody area, but you still have the brightness from the windows. You still have that fireplace. And we're also going to add some more life with the furniture throughout. So I would go ahead and start by painting a nice moody color to start. That way you kind of just automatically start off with that moody vibe and anything else you add, just going to attribute to it or, you know, kind of neutralize it. So I just picked out a ton of pieces that I found online. So Shannon can alter these to her liking and take away if she doesn't like it, whatever she wants to do. But these are just pieces that I personally chose. We have something like a big rug for the floor, which adds a nice coziness. It also grounds our seating area with the couch. And then we also have an accent chair. We have a coffee table, media console. I think mounting the TV on top of the media console, maybe adding a little bit of styling to that mantle area. Just all around, I don't think you can go wrong in here. And then as far as wall art goes, we definitely need a little bit of wall art. So I thought adding a nice little triptych above the couch, I believe that's how you say that. I might be butchering that, but basically three pieces of art that kind of coordinate together above the couch area. And the last thing in the space that I think really dates it is the current ceiling fan. That ceiling fan just looks not great in there, I'm not gonna lie. So I think something as simple as changing up that light fixture, which is totally doable. If you are renting this space, you could pull down that ceiling fan, store it somewhere until you move and just install it back in. I swear to you guys, removing and adding a light takes maybe an hour. So if you wanna live with that light for a full on year, when you could have taken it down for an hour and installed a new one. I think it's just a no-brainer. I actually changed my light in my bedroom and I kept the old one. I'm going to reinstall the old one when I leave and I will be good to go. So yeah, guys, I feel like I just talked up a storm. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and this episode of What Would Drew Do? Where I help you guys with your decor dilemmas. Now, of course, if you guys would like to send in your very own home, please feel free to do so. I will leave a link below that shares all the details on how to enter your space for a chance to be in this video. And I also do try to always respond to your guys's 
emails in case I don't get to actually put you in a video as it is very challenging um, to kind of put all of them in there. Of course, I do try to respond to some that I can just give quick design tips to. So feel free to send it along. And last but not least, guys, do not forget to also check out Helix to get your very own mattress. You can go to helixsleep.com slash Drew Scott to get up to $200 off your mattress purchase. I love my Helix mattress. It is truly amazing. And I couldn't imagine having any other mattress. I really, really, really genuinely do love it. And guys, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for brand new home decor and DIY content every single week. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your day. Bye guys. Bye.